Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand CSS background properties. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed CSS background color property, background image property, background repeat property, background attachment property, background position property and background size property. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss CSS background origin property and CSS background clip property. Before we proceed and understand, let me go to notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to notepad in the body section I create one div with some content to this div I am going to apply some style I say here style type equal to text or CSS then I say closing style tag then I tell to the browser locate any div in this page apply these properties width should be 100 pixels semicolon height should be 100 pixels semicolon background dash color should be magenta semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that a div is created width of having 100 pixels height 100 pixels and some content is there background color is set to magenta i also tell to the system that locate a body or to this web page you need to apply the background color of cyan semicolon file save Go to browser and refresh you can see that the body has the background color sign also you can observe this area that you see here the space is actually the margin of the body I'm going to remove the margin of body margin 0 px file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the body margin is removed hence the div is stick to the wall it has moved to the left and top right you can see that Next thing I am going to apply some formatting to the div. I say here add some padding, padding of uh, 10 pixels, file save, go to browser and refresh. You can see that 10 pixels area around the content is cleared. We know that padding indicates the distance between the content and the edge of the element. Next thing is I tell to the browser apply the border of 10px dotted yellow semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that dotted yellow border is added next i tell to the browser add a margin of 10 pixel around the div file save go to browser and refresh you can see that 10 pixel area around the div is cleared right uh, area outside the border is actually known as the margin we already know that as we already know while learning the CSS box model we understood that every HTML element is a box it has the four different boxes or components right one is the content box another one is the padding box another one is a border box and another one is a margin box right outside the content box we have padding box outside the padding box we have border box outside the border box we have margin box or simply we say content area outside the content area we have padding area outside the padding area we have border area outside the border area we have margin area right now what I do I apply the background image to apply the background image we use CSS background image property we use a URL function semicolon in between single quotations we write the image name or image path complete path right here I say flower.jpg the image I have at the desktop file save go to browser and refresh you can observe that the image is applied also image is getting repeated you can see image is getting repeated horizontally and vertically it has entered into the border area also right what I can do is I can stop the repeating behavior by using the background repeat property so I say here background dash repeat say no repeat semicolon file save go to browser 
and refresh background repeat is not happening you can see we have only one image right and also you can observe the image is placed in the padding box right it is placed in the padding box let me give the size here i say background dash size cover semicolon file save go to browser and refresh now the image is covering the complete padding area you can see right or uh, you can say the image is placed in the padding box actually by default the image is placed in the padding box we can decide where the image should be placed whether the image should be placed in the padding box or it should be placed in the content box or it should be placed in the border box by using the css background origin property css background origin property is used to specify the background image origin box that is the placement box where the image should be placed whether it should be placed in a content box or it should be placed in a padding box or it should be placed in a border box by default the image is placed in a padding box let's see various values and experiment let me go to notepad here i say background dash origin colon i say content box semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the image is placed in the content box it is moved inside the content area right similarly if i say here padding box that is actually default value of the background origin file save go to browser and refresh you can see image is placed in the padding box now also we can use a value border box file save go to browser and refresh now the image is placed within the border box i hope you guys have clearly understood what is the meaning of background origin property next we have css background clip property background clip property is used to specify the background clipping box here the image as well as color is going to be clipped okay clipping means trimming friends you can decide two boxes content box as a clipping box or padding box as a clipping box let's see the background clip property how we can use it i go to notepad here i say background dash clip colon padding dash box padding box file save go to browser now we are telling to the browser use the padding box as a clipping box what browser actually does means any area of the image which goes outside the padding box or outside the padding area it is going to trim out that area it is going to clip that that means the background color as well as background image both are going to be clipped friends if i say refresh you can see that background color as well as the background image which is moved outside outside the padding box or a padding area is clipped can you see the background color here no can you see the background image in the border box or a border area no right let's see if i change here to content box content box file save go to browser and refresh now the background color or a background image outside the content box is clipped out so which box is used as a clipping box is determined by css background clip property friends i hope you guys have clearly understood various css background properties and how you can use them for this tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to experiment more and understand all css properties for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial